Are we live? Is this working? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live show that uh, that I promised. I really hope the mic is uh, is working okay because it's been really irritating me. So we've 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 run through some some of the different problems that we've had. I'm quiet. Okay, I can fix quiet. Actually, believe it or not, I can I can do that. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to turn it up. I'm turning it up now. In fact, here, I'll even show you guys how I'm turning it up. So I'll I'll, I'll I'm going to turn it up right in here, see? So I tried this uh this Steel Series USB sound card that was seemed to be fixing some of the issues and then it didn't fix other issues and I'm going to turn it up just a little bit cuz some of you are saying you don't want it up that high. So there we go. Good evening, everybody, and we've got a fantastic show for you. Actually, we don't really have a show at all. We just have me sort of sitting here and hopefully taking some questions, although I do want to start with something that is on everybody's mind. So, dun 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 dun, dun. iPhone 5. What do you guys think of this? Uh, go ahead, you can use the Twitch chat, you can use Twitter. So we're going to go ahead and add another... Uh, actually, no, we're not, we're not going to add anything right now. So I want to I wanna know what you guys think. I'm going to let you know what I think. So what, what I think is that basically I don't understand any reason why anyone who owns an Apple phone is upgrading from a 4 or a 4S to this phone because it looks like what we're what we're dealing with is a phone that is basically a little bit See, this to me is a lot like the iPad 1 to iPad 2 upgrade because what we're getting is a slightly thinner device with um um slightly less weight and we're getting basically a slightly longer screen although although that's actually one of the things I like so compared to what I've seen from most people who are saying that they think it's phenomenally stupid that Apple has just enlarged the screen I have small hands so I would like to explain from an ergonomics perspective why they've done that I can already barely reach see I'm gonna show you guys this I can barely reach to the edge of my iPhone screen had they made it a little bit wider I wouldn't be able to reach at all, especially something in the top left corner. I can barely make it up there. So that's why I think they've gone ahead and and done it that way. So yeah, okay, guys. You, you guys are giving me a hard time. You're like, yeah, it has a better screen. It has a better camera. I understand all of that, and that's all fine and good, but it's very small incremental changes. I mean, I've got a friend. One of my, one of my badminton buddies is just like... I I asked him about this uh, when the 4S was released. I was like, okay, you got iPhone 4. Are you? What do you think? Are you planning to upgrade to the 4S? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, uh, why? And he's like, oh, because I just, I have the latest one, and that's, that's like the kind of guy I am. And I'm like, oh, okay, so, so, um, so you're the kind of guy who just like just like buys it because because just whatever and if you followed me on Twitter Aussie832 you would already know that I play badminton so you should be following me on Twitter at Linus Tech so there you go bam I'm gonna also I'm gonna try and read some of these comments here for a little bit guys um, really careful your important question about water cooling in a 3930k in a particular sort of configuration I can't take any questions about exact configurations on these live streams because I have to focus on the things that <laughs> everyone stands a chance of finding relevant all right here we go to your upgrade cycle is good yeah to your upgrade cycle is okay but I don't I don't really understand why my iPhone 4 already does everything I could possibly possibly want. Uh, someone's asking me, when's the next NCIX warehouse sale? Probably not coming for a little while. If you guys don't know, our warehouse sales at NCIX are like crazy, crazy things that uh, that basically involve... Here, I'm going to switch over to my, uh, to my other view here. There we go. Crazy, crazy things that involve us selling stuff at like half of our original cost. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the Connect tab. I'm going to take some questions on Twitter as well. So I'm going to try and pay attention to Twitter as well as the, uh, as the Twitch TV chat. I'm just going to move myself a little bit to the side here. <sighs> yeah, let's do some questions. When are the 8000 series AMD GPUs going to be out? Guys, I hope you know that I cannot speculate on any kind of upcoming 
uh, upcoming video cards or anything like that. This really doesn't work like that. What do I think of the PS Vita? Uh, if, if you've ever tried the Vita, you'll know that the screen is actually outstanding. Um, it's got the usual sort of like PlayStation controls that you've come to expect, but from my perspective, I, I don't see the point because we can already use emulators on our Android phones or we can use our, well, our phones, especially if you have like a Tegra powered phone or anything like that to run pretty intensive games. And the, the, whole, the whole point of a handheld console to me is really, really going away very, very quickly. Uh, Ryan wants me to turn down the contrast and white balance. You know what, dude? There's not a whole lot I can do about it. This webcam sucks. And I tried playing around with the with the colors and just, uh, yeah, nothing nothing good was happening there. So Wei Jun Gu uh, wants to know what happened to Slick. Slick has not gone anywhere. We have a new intern. His name is Diesel. Slick is 100% still with the show. In fact, Slick is actually spending his entire evening tonight. I dropped by his place. I had his check. Um, I had a tablet for him to borrow for a little while. He can use it for his schoolwork. He can download textbooks or something like that. And I also dropped him off all the latest upcoming Trinity APUs. So he has three new processors from AMD that have a CPU and a GPU built into them. He also has the all-new uh, FX chip. So I, I dropped off four mother, five motherboards, some competing Intel CPUs, four new AMD CPUs, an 8150, and an 1100T, just for giggles. So we are going to have a ton of content coming up about uh, all of AMD's new video cards. And Slick is 100% on board. He's working on them. And uh, we're very, very excited about that. Uh, I, I mean... Personally, guys, I really do wish for a competitive AMD. I think it helps for it helps us have a healthier marketplace. I think it gives consumers more options, and I yeah, I believe it's very very important. Uh, Joseph wants to know what I thought about the MSI M Power. I think I have three videos about it, Joseph. Um, I think it's awesome. I think that manufacturers stepping up the way that they do quality control should be the way that they're differentiating from each other because it's one thing if you know manufacturer says well it has Japanese capacitors but that doesn't mean anything unless they're backing it up with a longer warranty or they're really QCing it in a way that means that you will not receive a DOA I mean MSI won't come out and say you can't get a DOA M power motherboard but I would come out and say you pretty much can't get an MSI M power motherboard that's dead on arrival it should pretty much be worked should pretty much work right off the bat. MB wants to know if streams on Twitch will be recorded and put on YouTube. Absolutely, they will. 100%. It will, ha it will be happening. Uh, Ramdaz is not impressed with the new iPhone. Make a lightning cable review on Linus Cat Tips. You know what? This is sort of an interesting suggestion for... Uh, for 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 one one reason here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you guys. If you guys haven't already seen this, I'm just gonna I forgot to set up my hotkeys for switching between between these things. So let's go ahead and uh, search for Thunderbolt cable. You know what? I I wonder how many videos there are about Apple's Thunderbolt cable. There can't be that many. And apparently it won't do. Ah, yes, the Thunderbolt cable unboxing. If you guys haven't already seen this, you know I don't I don't like to, I don't like to toot my own horn or anything. And oh, look at this. We're all gonna watch the uh, the ad together. I'm showing you guys what not to do. Don't skip the ad. That's that's bad. You don't you don't want to do that. So we're gonna go to full screen here, and this is this is probably one of my favorite videos that Slick and I have ever worked on together. Um, I don't know if can you guys hear. I don't know. Can you can you hear? I don't know if you can hear. But basically, we were uh, we we decided to find out what the effects of opening up a fifty dollar cable could be. People are saying no. We can't hear. Can you hear now? No, we cannot hear. Yes, no, no, yes, no. You guys are making it impossible to tell. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't really need the sound. So we we basically. Yeah, we basically figured out that if you open up one of these $50 cables, it turns you into some kind of phenomenal superhero. And uh, guys, there's, there's no sound. There's really no sound. You, all you have to do is just kind of watch the video here. And, uh, and you, you, can, you can experience. If you, wanna, if you really want to watch it with sound, then all you have to do is go search for Thunderbolt Cable on YouTube. And, uh, 
and you will you will experience something that you will rarely experience outside of this this particular video. So I don't know if you guys saw that. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna rewind to the part where I go flying through the fence. I was planning to fix my fence anyway. So uh, you can see there's actually already holes in the fence right here. See this spot where there's a hole in the fence. So um, yeah, since I was planning on that anyway, I decided we might as well just try and try and break the fence and and see how that 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 went for us. My my wife was super impressed with this video. She she definitely thought it was our finest work. And I'm sorry the video is lagging. We are going to get better equipment soon. I actually have a couple of um, what are they called? Black Magic, Intensity, whatever, the Thunderbolt one, the external one. So I have, have a couple of those coming soon, and I'm definitely excited about being able to stream from, uh, from an HDMI capture card as opposed to relying on sort of fail, fail stuff like, like what we're doing right now, which is like webcams and, uh, and, and like audio capture that's just, just terrible compared to what we, what we really should be using. So let's go back to our let's go back to our Twitter feed here and see if we've got any other great questions on Twitter. Guys, if you're not already following me on Twitter, it's at Linus Tech. So make sure you're doing that because Twitter is going to be my primary way of communicating uh, during these live streams. So if you uh, yeah, if you're not on Twitter, then just just get Twitter. It's really not that hard. You just sign up for it. If you People, okay, people have sort of an interest, everyone has a different philosophy about social, social media, social networks, signing up for things. So number one, Twitter's big enough that like they're not going to sell your information. They, they have a privacy policy and corporate whatever hoo-ha that it's not going to be that much of a problem. And a social network is only as intrusive and annoying as you allow it to be. If you follow every retailer who throws a contest at you on Twitter, or if you follow every celebrity that has a staff of six people writing tweets um, for them and then posting it, then yes, you will have a really obnoxious Twitter feed and it'll become ignoring worthy. However, if you just follow people that you genuinely want to interact with, then I really don't think it's that bad. Uh, I think the lightning cable is quite awesome. I'm really interested to see why the lightning cable. Like, is this a Thunderbolt compatible thing? Is it I don't know. I, I'm just I'm finding this whole thing very, very confusing. Although Tim Cook claims for the iPhone 5 that the lightning connector is staying for a long time. So, yeah. As for Twitter sucking, I, I know, I know. But the reason Twitter sucks is because of all the spam, horrible, stupid content on it. Like trending, trending topics? This is the worst thing in the world and just plain shouldn't exist. iToast wants me to take my server off the floor. Okay, I'll tell you what, iToast. If you buy me a rack to install in my storage closet, then I will take my server off the floor. No big deal. Um, Linus, do I know anything about the iPad mini? No, no one, no one really knows anything about it. Uh, Lachlan wants to know what's the best Cherry MX Blue keyboard. You know what? Pretty much any MX Blue keyboard is pretty good. Although out of the build quality of the keyboards that we've really spent time with, if I was picking something for doing lots of typing, or for gaming, or actually basically for anything, I would go with the Philco. Um, just find any Philco keyboard. You can get like the camo one, or the ones with like the writing on like the bottom or the side of the switches, or or whatever. It doesn't matter. Philco keyboards are built like tanks. Like they're not Model M's, but they're they're outstanding. So. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I would go with. Anything from Philco. Linus, do you have any, any info about a GeForce-based GK110 card by NVIDIA? I would love to explain to you guys what an NDA is. An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Basically, for anyone to tell me anything, whether they're NVIDIA or Intel, AMD, whoever else, they make me sign my name on a piece of paper that says I will not disclose any information about it. If I were to break an NDA, I would never get a sample of anything ever again. So doesn't happen. I will not talk about things that aren't released unless I have prior approval because I want to be able to keep bringing content to you guys and I'm not going to be able to do that if I can't get any video cards or CPUs or motherboards. Then I'll just, I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be an Apple channel. And I will, I will talk about Apple. Um, Savage Joe says, Linus, I don't use Twitter, so here's my question. Savage Joe, learn to use Twitter and then I will answer your question. Actually, and I'll answer your question anyway. Could an audio chip on a motherboard cause random freezing and sound looping? Absolutely. Onboard audio sucks balls. It sucks balls. 
in every possible way. You don't use it. Um, there are motherboards that do have decent onboard audio, something like a Maximus 4, uh, Maxim, rather, Maximus 5 formula has truly well-designed onboard audio that has true PCB separation from the rest of the traces, the rest of the components on the board. However, 99.9% .9 of boards do not have the kind of engineering that ASUS put into that board and are terrible, so don't use them. Uh, you should always be using a real sound card, and those of you who don't believe me, actually, <laughs> this is great because I did a video about the ASUS Zonar DDX or DG or something like that, a low-end ASUS sound card. And uh, I had someone message me, like they wrote out this long message, and they were like, Linus, thank you so much for enlightening me. I always thought onboard sound was fine, and you know, I was on hard forum, or whatever the forum, it was some forum where they think they know a lot, but they don't. Um, I was on this forum, and everyone said sound cards are for audio files or whatever else. They're not. And someone says they have a Maximus 5 formula, okay, something, something. Uh, anyway, so he said, you know what, I, I always thought it was fine because people said that it's for audio files only and you can never tell the difference, blah, blah, blah. Um, I installed a cheapo sound card and my eyes have been opened because a sound card makes a difference to everything you do, whether it's games, music, movies, Windows sounds, it doesn't matter. You need to have a sound card. Everyone needs a sound card. It's not negotiable. Um... Someone has a Maximus 5. Cool story, bro. Linus, do you love me? From Justin, absolutely. Everyone who's taking the time to be here with me at 10 o'clock my time to just listen to me ramble about random hardware, I, I love you all because Limefire says, no, I don't love... No, yes, I do. I just said I do. Mind you, I think there's a bit of a delay on the stream, so we should, like, we should give... Is John still here? Like, we should give him a hard time about it. John, fix your, fix your leg or something. Bam. This is my first time using Twitch and I'm already like burning their uh, I'm already burning their service. However, it's a hundred times better than uh than Google Hangouts on air, which I was which I was super not impressed about and uh super not, not happy about because it, it it glitched out and was was generally not very good in any way. So hold on, give me two seconds here guys. I'm just gonna try and figure out if I can uh Transition. If I can find a way to to bind my scenes to uh, to hotkeys, because there was a way. There's a way to do this, and I don't remember how to do it. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'll just keep doing it with the mouse. Um, speaking of in uh, speaking of YouTube live streams, for those of you who don't know, I'm trying to communicate this as much as I can. I will be uploading these Twitch live streams to YouTube when I'm done. So if you miss them, you can watch them on YouTube. No problem. And black pseudo side, pseudo aside, says he has to go, and I'm very sorry. In the future, I'm probably going to be moving these live streams back an hour, so it'll be 9 p.m. my time, which will be midnight Eastern Standard Time, which is better for better for Canadians. Um, and I mean, the rest of the world, I'm sorry, but I've had no matter what time I do it at, someone from Asia or someone from Europe is going to tell. Okay, remember, guys, there's. 24 time zones in the world, not counting like the ones that don't count, like Newfoundland, where they're like half an hour ahead. Um, so there's 24 major time zones, and then everyone during that time probably is sleeping for eight hours and at work for eight hours. So there is a there is like a two in three chance that no matter what time I stream at, you won't be able to watch it because you're at work or because you're sleeping. So I can only do so much, and I really appreciate those of you who are tuning in no matter what time it is. Luca ZS WS2 something says it's 7 a.m. his time. Dude, I wouldn't be up if it was 7 a.m., so I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome in every possible way. Uh, Salman, Salman Elite wants to know why there haven't been any Linus Cat Tips videos. Um, honestly, it's been a bit of a... Well, here, I'm, I'm going to go get my camera, and I'll explain why with a prop. So I'll be back in two seconds. Was that two seconds? I hope that was pretty good. Okay, so this camera, this is my high-end camera. This is my XA10. Um, this camera I usually don't transport to and from home. So I, uh, this is the only one that performs half decent in my house because my house doesn't have a great lighting. 
and my regular blob ca blob blob camera blob camera blah blah blah, blah uh, my blog camera the SX1IS cannot capture video in my house worth crap so the only times I can really use it are on weekends because I work during the day and on weekends I like to spend time with my family as much as I possibly can uh, when I'm not like benchmarking stuff and whatnot. So, uh, and as for you guys complaining about the washed out colors, I will be dealing with it soon, okay? Just relax. Um, so anyway, right, so this camera, I don't usually bring it home, and so there's no time to film the cats. They're adorable still, I, I love them to death, and they're always up to their antics, but I will be looking at bringing the Linus Cat Tips channel back once we get ourselves a couple of new Panasonic cameras, and I can start transporting this one around with me as my general purpose blog camera. So, yes. Very exciting stuff. Linus, from the Brimstone, is there any real difference between the GTX 670M and a desktop GTX 670? Yes. All the difference in the world, mobile graphics cards are very underpowered compared to their desktop equivalents. Basically, the, the naming schemes on notebook graphics cards seem to be designed to be as confusing as possible. So just just give up now. The only thing that you can do is you can find a review where someone has benchmarked a notebook with that graphics card and that'll give you some idea how it'll perform. That's pretty much all you can do. Uh, let's see if we can get to some more Twitter questions here, guys. Uh, John Norton wants to know MSI or ASUS for an LGA 1155 socket. Well, first of all, if you buy a socket by itself, you're not going to get the functionality that you expect from that product because the socket is not actually what delivers the communication between the CPU and the rest of your system. You will need a full motherboard to go with that socket and I would definitely suggest to you that actually either MSI or ASUS are great options. Right now for gamers I would particularly take a look at the M power board from MSI. It actually has an incredibly full feature set for the price plus it has that extra QC they're putting into it or the Sabertooth from ASUS which comes with a five-year warranty and their thermal armor which is not really that important for cooling but looks badass in your system especially if you want to go for like a nice clean build and uh, those of you who are into get Jason Cheng yes I play badminton calm down stop typing in all caps um, something now I've lost where I was what I was talking about right so the Sabertooth looks badass you want nice clean cabling you want like a sweet looking gaming system lighting effects and stuff so yes it's a very good choice either of them are good Anything from the big three, ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, those are your big three. A lot of people are starting to count ASRock. Um, I don't yet. I need to see it proven to me first, and I just really haven't, uh, really haven't had much experience with their board, so I don't feel that confident recommending them. All right, Daniel says, at what point in your life did you decide to make a living off unboxing, benchmarking, etc., electronic products? I do not make a living off of what I do here on the interwebs. Um, at least not yet. I make a living as a product manager at NCIX. In fact, I'd love to share with you guys uh, another YouTube video here. So I'm just going to... Uh, this, is, this is a series that I've started doing, and I'd love to change this into a live show at some point. But this is Netlinked Weekly. You can watch all the episodes on the tube. And in episode... I believe it's Netlinked Weekly episode 8. I actually interview myself about my job. So I, uh, I pose a series. Okay. You know, it's funny because, here, this is hilarious, okay? So this is an aside. Google's terms of service dictate to me that I cannot intentionally use my own ads to drive revenue to myself. So why does it serve me ads when I'm watching my videos, some of which are unskippable? This is like paradox mind screwery that's going on here because I can't skip the ad. I want to watch my own video, but if I watch the ad, then I will be violating YouTube's terms of service. I mean, can they, can they ban me from YouTube for watching my own ad? It's like unbelievable. Anyway, sorry, let's switch back. So, so in this episode of Netlinked Weekly, I interview me. Let's just make the player a little bigger here so you guys can actually see what's going on. At least I think I do in this episode. If it's the wrong one, ah, yes, here we go. So I ask myself like a question and then uh, I, I magically appear in the shot to answer the question and uh, I, actually, I actually changed my shirt in between every shot 
And uh, see, I answered my own question. I actually put sunglasses on. So if you get, yes, I know there's no sound. Calm down. I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, so anyway, this, 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 was, this, was, this was fun. And uh, you guys should definitely subscribe to the NCIXCOM channel so that you can, uh, you can definitely check out this weekly content as well as all the other videos I do over there. In fact, I'll originally Linus Tech Tips existed for the sole purpose of um, unboxing the products, just doing like showca quick showcases of the product to, in to improve our time to market with the videos for NCIX Tech Tips videos. So if you go back at some of the older NCIX Tech Tips videos, I'm just going to going to bring up the uh, the NCIX channel here and I'll s flip over to that on scene three because I'm like totally managing the uh, like the scenes I'm using XSplit like a bouse actually I'm not using XSplit like a bouse I'm using XSplit like some noob that's horrible and doesn't know doesn't know how to use it so um, let's go back to some of the older episodes like when did we start doing unboxings I think we started doing unboxings around the time... Yeah, no, it was definitely after this. Okay, now I've gotten confused and I've lost track of what's going on. Hmm, it was around the launch of Socket 1156. Ah, yes. So, like, around the time we started doing... Uh, oh, maybe it wasn't. Okay, you know what? I give up on this. I'm just going to switch back to the other scene. And let's just, let's, just, let's just forget about that whole thing and let that ever happen because I clearly have no idea what I'm talking about. So, Daniel, in short, um, I didn't. Mark, I live in Korea where people are glued to their phones and tablets to the point where it scares me. Will the same happen elsewhere? I believe so. In fact, I was having an argument with one of my coworkers not that long ago where I suggested to him that what will happen, and, and, that, and that it's happening today, that no one will actually know how to drive their car anywhere. Because for me, when I first started driving, and you, couldn't, you didn't know where you were going, you had someone like draw on a piece of paper and like label it, and it was usually inaccurate, or you actually kept a physical map in your car, and then you would pull over and read it, and like try to figure out where you were going. Whereas now, I, this is the funniest thing, and I'm gonna I'm totally gonna burn Slick here because he's such a like kids today in this way. He doesn't know how to get from his house to our studio. He follows Google Maps every time. He cannot do it by memory. And this backed up my argument with my coworker, which was last summer when I said kids are not going to know how to navigate the road and they're not going to know how to use maps because they don't have to. They are going to grow up with turn by turn available to them at all times and the world is changing to the point where you're not going to actually have to n remember anything. Like when I, again, same thing, when I was growing up you had to remember a phone number to call someone. If you couldn't remember a girl's phone number, you didn't write it down somewhere, like, like, like that was it. Whereas now, with the convenience of, of, of contact lists and, lists and address books, I, I, I don't know anybody's number. I know my own number, I know my wife's number, and I know my work number. I know my parents' number. But guys, feel free, post in the chat, post in the chat on the Twitch TV, how many phone numbers do you actually know? Whereas when I was in elementary school, I knew all my friends' phone numbers, I knew uh, you know, all my relatives' phone numbers, there you go. I think I think things are changing. Uh, people asking how how old I am. I am 26. So there you go. Uh, so I've been doing YouTube videos since I was about 21, 22. And uh, see, see, people are replying. I know 911. Yeah, see, exactly. Five, five, four, six, eleven, thirty. People don't remember phone numbers anymore, and that's why. That's what made me think of this whole map thing, this navigation thing. If you have a phone that's just going to tell you what to do, and will even do it smarter than you can, because it'll tell you when there's traffic, it'll tell you if there's a roadblock, it'll tell you if there's a cop. Why would you ever memorize it anymore? Very, very interesting stuff. Okay. Um, Matt wants to know if you have a 2600K already, wait for Haswell or not worth upgrading? Um, probably not worth upgrading to Ivy Bridge, especially if you're an overclocker. Uh, the the performance, I mean, it is a, it's, a, it's either a tick or a talk. It's whichever one is the process shrink without that many architectural improvements. So wait for the big, uh, the big architectural improvements. 
Thor H13 wants to be a mod. Okay, done. If you want to block the porn links, then feel free, my friend. Make it happen, sir. All right. Moving on right along. Something best Linus video ever. Sweet. Uh, have I heard about the... Okay, I think we're back to where... Oh, my goodness. 200, 214 new interactions. What am I going to do with you guys? I should show you some high school pictures. You know what? If you're subscribed on Twitter... Uh, or following on Twitter, I guess would be the correct terminology. It wasn't a high school picture, but this is this is one of my elementary school pictures. This is just this is just fantastic. You guys are gonna love this. I had the most outstanding mullet and like bucktooth overbite that you ever did see. Check this out. I'm just gonna hold this up to the camera. I hope this kind of works. That is me when I was in elementary school. Is that is that not like legendary hair right there? Oh, there we go. It's finally popped into focus. So uh, why would I not post old pictures of myself? I think that that should be um, that should be evident based on that picture that I just shared with y'all. See, for my American viewers, y'all. I'm gonna say y'all and a. And I got ugh, someone burned me today at work for calling it OCZ because apparently Z is I see I can never remember. I use Z and Z interchangeably. I think these are very minor details in life. Um, Steven wants to know how do I think my son will think of me when he grows up? Um, I have no idea because there will be so much video I mean, I thought about this because so much of what I've done over the last four years is like documented on the internet, and try as I might to um, to 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 erase any of it, it's just it's there forever. That's what that's what you realize at a certain point. So check this out, uh, Linus um, top moments or something like that. Like some guy, um, Linus uh, moments. I don't. I don't. Re I don't remember where it is. But some moments there. There. I think. I think this is the one. It might be him. It might be someone else. Like people do compilations of like me on the internet. That is, to me, like the strangest thing. The strangest thing ever. But like, I mean, look at this. I think there's. I think there's another one. Um, and no, I'm not planning any Linux builds. Uh, Linus Tech. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember what it's called. But it's somewhere. I I encountered it uh, a little while ago. Someone like made this video that was just a bunch of random, random Linus Tech tips. Uh, Linus Tech tips moments. But it really made me realize that um, no matter what I do, I will always be sort of there on the internet. Um, um, one of the other moments I had about this was to do with not only my my own persistence on the interwebs, but also cloud computing. So if you guys haven't seen the sorry, I'm going to switch back to that uh, to that other window. Uh, NCIX Cloud. Watch this episode because it didn't get a whole lot of views, but I think what you guys can see here is from the like to dislike ratio, which is 2000 to 14. It was actually an outstanding video that we did uh, where I talked a lot about the, the level of discomfort I have over um, what happened when my accounts got hijacked. So if you guys haven't been subscribed for a long time, about a year ago, both of my accounts got hijacked. Someone got a keylogger on my machine, took them over, wiped out all my videos, uh, posted a bunch of spam videos. It took me about a month to get them back, dealing with, uh, dealing with partner support, dealing with Google's support team, which was non-existent at the time, but they've been quite a bit better since then. And um, what happened when I got in touch with Google's support was they not only restored my channel, which is great, but they restored every video I had ever deleted as well. So things like test footage that we that we uh, that we uploaded a long time ago, um, things like like videos that we never intended to release, all just got released. And what I realized is you never delete anything from the cloud at all. And uh, how terrifying is that? Because it means that your data will always be there. So that's uh, that's why I created my own offsite backup server, and I do try to turn all of my um, I do try to turn all of my, what I, uh, right, I do try to store all of my data on my own servers as opposed to using services like Dropbox or whatever else. Linus, I have wanted to ask this for ages. Are you streaming from a kitchen? I am absolutely streaming from a kitchen. I would love to share with you guys my kitchen. This is my kitchen. 
So this is my rice cooker. This is my juice jug. Uh, this is my saran wrap. This is my power line adapter box. So I'm using power line now, guys. I am not using wireless for my stream this week. Okay, power line is, is, a, is beastly. That is my Tropicana, which I should have some of. That is my shepherd's pie, which was freaking delicious. My wife made it. And that is the tin foil that was covering the shepherd's pie. That is an oven mitt. That is my bread box. That's my butter dish. That's my microwave. These are my cabinets. Okay. Uh, I don't have a degree, for those of you asking. That is my fridge. That is my backpack that I carry my things in. This is my baby's swinging seat. That is a laundry hamper, which is in the kitchen for, you know, probably a good reason. This is my cereal. See? Delicious, right? Mini wheats. And behind it is Honey Nut Cheerios. And that is cream of wheat. This is my dish rack. This is my paper towels. This is my recycling pile that I take out once in a while. Uh, my cabinets are here. And there's more cabinets behind there, but you can't see them. That is my water cooler. That is a bunch of baby crap that you can see because I have a baby. Um, that is his bouncy seat right there with his foam or with his uh, stuffed animal sock and his soccer ball that I throw and he likes. Oh, that's my dinner. Okay, gotten things things got too real there. My dinner. Uh, AJR, I'm sorry it's so late. Uh, we can potentially look at changing the time of the stream at some point, but. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do for this week because it's already started. So, let's go ahead and go back to our go back to our go back to our Twitter and see if we can find anything that anyone wants to uh, wants to hear about. Uh, Linus, it's Flip. Do I stay with LGA 1155 or LGA 2011? Because I just built a new PC with 1155. Stick with 1155 for now. Uh, in fact, the highest end chips um, I are are on LGA 1155 right now in terms of quad cores. Matt says, where does Linus live? This live show is crap. I would like to know how those two things are related. Matt, I am definitely waiting for you to post a, a follow-up to that because I want to know why where I live is related to my live show not being very good. And I'm very sorry my live show is not very good. What is... Oh, that's a good question. Justin45654 wants to know, what is your favorite-looking GPU of all time? The GTX 480 is my favorite-looking GPU. Not my favorite GPU in general, but definitely my favorite-looking GPU. Those heat pipes that came out of the top of it are just, like, oh, they're just so amazing. I mean, for those of you who don't know what a GTX 480 looks like, it is just a thing of beauty. And it's a thing of beauty out of necessity. I mean, I don't think NVIDIA wanted to spend this much on that cooler. Oh, look at that. My favorite review site, Hardware Canucks. There you go. That is what a GTX 480 looks like. This, this was all metal. So, whoop, pointing the wrong way. That was all metal on the top. I have never seen that since, except for the GTX 690, which does use a metal shroud, but this metal was involved in the cooling because this GPU ran so friggin' hot, and those heat pipes that came out of the top made it incompatible with a number of cases, but like, oh, they looked so good. Slick's actually running my, uh, my review sample GTX 480. Um, and Matt Mace says, you read. I was just saying the live show is crap. It was lagging for me. Oh, you mean it's crap, it's lagging, not it's crap. I suck at doing live streams. Although, hey, focus. Although it's possible that I suck at doing live streams, but this is still practice for me. This is only my third live stream so far, so I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Anyway, GTX 480 is by far my favorite looking GPU. Right, Slick's still using it, and he, like, he doesn't even want to change it just because it looks so sexy and good and awesome. So back to Twitter. All right, what do we got? Um, moving right along. Will you be doing reviews for the new Ivory Bridge i3s? Not really. I mean, why? I'm really interested in getting one for gaming. I need an expert opinion. Adam West, do not get it for gaming. Even AMD's last generation APUs are dramatically better for gaming than an Intel Ivory Bridge chip. If you do a search for um, APU NCIX, you guys will find 
Uh, not this one. Ah, yes, this guy right here, the integrated graphics IGP showdown. Intel Ivy Bridge versus AMD Lano. And more ads. I'm sorry for ads, guys, but ads really do keep the NCIX Tech Tips project going in a big way. And wow, my hair was outstanding in this video. So by the end of this video, I believe we put up some graphs that show the... Uh, the APU just just absolutely demolishing even the higher end Ivy Bridge chips. Remember, these were i7s, and uh, oh oh, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Yes, i7s and i5s, not i3s, just getting destroyed. And yes, if this is the real Adam West, then I'm a huge fan. And if it's not the Adam West, then you imposter. How dare you defile his good name, asking questions about i3s on the internet. Have I ever heard of or used an Astro Gaming headset? Sorry, no dice. Although if everyone who recommends, um, uh, everyone who asks me for a headset recommendation gets pretty much the same one. I'm a huge fan of the SteelSeries 7H. Best audio quality for a gaming headset by far. The Asus Vulcan ANC is actually, okay, I shouldn't say by far because the Vulcan ANC is close and has active noise cancelling. And then after that, it's just, it's a mix because... I mean, people, people are like, oh, I heard the Siberia V2 is really good. Where did you hear the Vi Siberia V2 is really good? Like, who told you this? Where are you guys getting information from? You should be watching my channel if you want information because, yeah, si Siberia V2 is like, yeah, um, it's not good. It's comfortable. So it's kind of like the, uh, it's like the Corsair Vengeance uh, 1300 or 1500. It's like, it's comfortable, but this is not groundbreaking audio quality by any stretch of the imagination, guys. Don't kid yourself. You want a good headset, you buy a good headset, not like a 40 50 $60 headset. It's not going to be good. This is a terrible headset. It's already uncomfortable. I've only been wearing it for a little while. Kyle Harris wants to know if my wife gets along with Esther. I would think so. They're sisters. Moving right along. Isabella, hello Linus, showed this tweet on your live cam. P.S. My boyfriend loves your videos. There you go, Isabella, you are live. Or if you're watching this on YouTube after the live stream, then you're not live. Okay, moving right along. Hi, I love your show. What's your opinion of the SteelSeries 7G? Is there a similar keyboard you suggest? I actually did a huge episode, a huge mechanical keyboard roundup. I know this is just turning into Linus schooling you guys on how if you actually watched my videos. Here, I bet it's the first hit if I search for mechanical keyboard. Bam! Other than the ad, first hit. Mechanical keyboard overview and showcase featuring pretty much every brand that matters. Look at all those keyboards. We have, uh, what is it, 12 keyboards here. So if you guys paid attention, you would already know the answer to that question, uh, which is that the 7G is a great keyboard, but... Do, 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 back to Twitter. But um, the keycaps sometimes fall off. The hand or the wrist rest on it is outstanding my wife refuses to use anything but a 7g due to the awesome wrist rest it looks ridiculous but it is so comfortable to type on so i would definitely recommend the 7g if you want the best wrist rest ever personally i'm using a Mionix zybel 60 right now which is my favorite uh, will i put my videos on dvd you want a collection why don't you just um get a pivos AOS like media set-top box and then use YouTube to watch them because I'm never taking them off YouTube. That won't happen. Uh, Arrow wants to say to me, use Chrome with Adblock for skipping YouTube ads. I don't believe in skipping YouTube ads. I actually make a, well, I don't make a living off of it, but I, 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 I supplement my, my income with YouTube ads. So it's kind of like asking like, like software developers to pirate. They, they usually have some qualms about that because their entire livelihood um, relies on people not pirating software. So yeah, um, just so you know, your kitchen looks awesome. Thank you. I think my kitchen's awesome too. It's outstanding. Ah, great question from John Zoidberg. And if you're the real John Zoidberg, big fan. Um, colored tubes or colored water for a custom water loop? Colored tubes for sure. Custom water causes so many problems because it just always gunks up. Like everybody claims that their solution to the colored water problem is going to cause it to not gunk up, but it always does. So 
Yeah, colored tubes. In fact, there is no reason for any tubing to exist other than PrimoFlex by PrimoChill. They have outstanding colored tubes that also are antimicrobial, so you don't have to put any other additives in your water, and they look outstanding. Towley says, read my Twitter. Um, I will try, but I can only get through so many of them. Okay, difference between the 660 and the 660 Ti? Well, performance, uh, the actual GPU that they're using, the clock speed, the functional units, the price. What do you want me to tell you, man? Uh, da -da -da -da. Simran Gill says, how do I read tweets like you do? I have no idea. I think you can search for, like, at Linus Tech. And that might help, but I'm not 100% not sure. Josh wants to know, what about EVGA? And I suspect this is in the context of what I said earlier about the big three, ASUS Gigabyte MSI. If you're talking about motherboards, um, I personally don't really believe in using any motherboard that is not a volume component. So the, the ones where they sell, like, hundreds of thousands of them, those are the ones that tend to get the after-sales support because if they didn't do it, then there'd be lots of customers who would be vocal about not supporting it. Um, so anything that's not a volume part, I generally avoid, and that includes every EVGA motherboard ever, except their 680i board. So, I mean, I, I, like, I like their, um, yeah, I like their boards, and um, I mean, but I just, yeah. Uh, for video cards, though, fine. Yes, EVGA is a big three for video cards. In fact, uh, the, the rumor has it that they sell like more high-end video cards in North America than everyone else combined. They're enormous. Let's move on down. Would I say the Asus Zents is still my favorite sound card? No, there's a better one. I forget if it's the ST or the STX, but there's one that's actually better. I just use the Zents because it has that sexy chrome cover on it that I really like. All right, so we've gotten down to where we had left off on tweets. So, oh, 188 new interactions. Wow, you guys are you guys are crazy, and like, yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, Daniel says Linus, this liquid works perfect. Daniel, you're wrong. Um, whether you think you're right or you think you're wrong, you're wrong because it doesn't work, and at some point it will gunk. They all do. I just don't care anymore. Use, yeah, use. Uh, something, the other thing. Use colored tubes. Someone wants me to answer the Peter Douglas, Doug's, Peter Deuces tweet. I don't, I don't see it yet. At least, not yet. Shout out to fans in South Africa. Hail South Africa. I really don't think there are that many of you, but um, if, there, if there are any, then fantastic. Thank you for viewing my live stream. I'm actually curious to know, if you guys can just sort of post in the chat or post in, a, in Twitter, I'd love to hear how you found the live stream tonight, because I had people request that I post a video on YouTube about it, so are most of you following me here from the YouTube posting, or, or, what, or what's the deal? YouTube, YouTube... YouTube, YouTube, YouTube links. Okay, okay. So that I'm I'm probably going to keep doing that. Then I'll just post a video that the live stream's coming, and you guys can tune in, and uh, and yeah, that that'll that looks like it's going to be the best. Okay, all right, calm down. That's enough. Okay, I got the point. YouTube, you guys, just killing me here. Uh, Julian wants to know if I will ever dye my hair again. Um, you know what? Not unless there's some kind of a particular. And yes, shout out to Prince Rupert. I've been there once before. Uh, my family had a devastating car accident, a car accident near Prince Rupert once. Uh, my mom broke her back. Um, my sister broke her arm. Um, yeah, yeah. My mom suffered a head injury that actually caused her to lose her ability to read. Um, however, I would like you guys to know that she made a full recovery, and she is uh, she's a teacher now, and she finished her degree, and uh, she she uh, is an outstanding lady outstanding lady because she was in a coma and was had a head injury to the point where she basically couldn't remember who any of her family were and uh, made made one heck of a comeback okay last shout out to victoria no more shout outs because shout outs are basically a waste of time because no one but you cares you and victoria you day wants to know if i met esther first or my wife i met my wife first esther is my wife's sister ash wants to know uh now nah, his question's boring. 
Abnotsu wants to know if I will ever do a 4x GTX 680 versus 2x GTX 690 test. The answer is no, because it doesn't matter. Um, the GTX 680 and the GTX 690 have exactly the same number of functional units, which means that, and they're both going to be in 4-way SLI, so there's no, there's no mystical sort of anything going on here. The performance will be the same, and the price is the same, so yeah, whatever. Just buy whichever one that you like. Uh, the 690 won't overclock as well. The 680s will overclock better, so yeah, bear that in mind. Moving right along. Would I recommend a 2500K or 3570K for moderate gaming? They're both pretty similar, with the 3570K being a little better. Um, and also a little bit more expensive. Rob wants a personal rig update. If he watched my YouTube videos, he would know that... Actually, no, he wouldn't know. If he was subscribed on Twitter, if he was following me on Twitter, he would know I have found a motherboard. The X79S UD... UP5 Wi-Fi is going to be my motherboard. It is absolutely silent and, uh, and is, is just awesome. You day Linus, did Esther introduce you to your now wife, or did your wife introduce you to Esther, and she happened to be an NCIX? I got Esther her job at NCIX. I've been with NCIX for six years. If you guys go back and find out sort of when Esther started at NCIX, it was only a few years ago. So at that time, I was already in, uh, I was either engaged or in a serious relationship with her sister, and I uh, I knew that Esther had a thing for you know social media. So so that was uh, that was how it went down. That was how it happened. There are two staff members in here. Staff members of what? Can you tell in some way that there are staff members? Like, how does this work? I'm just curious. Like, are they marked? Are they... Oh, the wrench. Fuzzy otter balls? Are you all just totally inappropriate? Why do you have names, like, that involve... Like, yeah, see, you're talking, you're talking about e -peen here. Totally inappropriate. You're, you're banned. I should ban you. Can I, can I ban a staff member? I'm going to try, just for fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this over here so you guys can all see what happens if I try to kick a staff member. Unvoice, ban. Did it work? Oh my goodness, it worked. Okay, can I unban him? Oop, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to unban him. I can't, I can't do it. I can't, it's, it's moving too fast. You guys are moving it too fast. <laughs> Oh, he says, no, I'm not banned. Okay. Well, now we know what happens. It tells me he's banned, but it doesn't actually ban him. So <laughs> we have learned something today, if nothing else. Um, Elmo Riggs wants to know if I am going to Malaysia anytime soon. I may be going to Malaysia sometime soon. There's a family reunion uh, sometime next year, and I might go or I might not. <laughs> Joel, Joel your, your question is legendary for a number of reasons. Are they twin sisters? No, but they're Asian. And if you're white, then you probably think they all look the same anyway. And that is very insensitive of you. They are not twins. Linus, this is a Tief. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a worthwhile upgrade. <laughs> Polsky wants to know my opinion on the Fractal Core 1000. Great question. Um, I believe I have a video about this. Uh, if I could figure out how to... Oh, did I break it? Is the live stream working? Did I switch to the wrong scene? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. And, ah, oh, there we go. Yes. I have a video about this. If you search for Core 1000, my search rankings are so good. Fractal Design, Core 1000, top hit. You just got you just got bammed. So many people ask me for ask me for like recommendations or like ask me to do videos about stuff only to discover that I have already done a video about it. And then there's New Eggs video. Look at those guys. Look at Paul's arms. Oh, in all seriousness, no, I, I like I like Paul. But see, he has he has twenty four thousand views and I have forty five thousand views. Ha. But, uh, but, but again, in all seriousness, Paul's a good guy. Let's go back to Twitter. There we go. I should just be using the same browser for this so that I don't have to, like, break it every time. Uh, Sriggs wants to know if I've ever answered this, but what is my opinion about RAM disks? My opinion is that they're not really that 
useful unless you have a lot of RAM. So I haven't really, I haven't really gotten to that yet. Chris has a great question. Chris, Linus, do you think ARM will ever expand into the desktop market? Absolutely, but not directly. ARM does not actually make uh, make processors like that that go into products. They rely on their partners, such as NVIDIA, to integrate ARM processors with some of the other components that are needed to build the system on a chip. And I believe that many of those partners are definitely expecting desktop computers to happen with ARM technology powering them. We're going to see great power efficiency and good enough performance, although I suspect for anyone watching this stream or subscribe to my channel, that performance won't be good enough, but there we go. Adam West, I didn't mean I wanted to use the IGP of the i3, I meant I wanted to use it for the processing power, then in that case, yes, an i3 is a perfectly valid choice for a gaming machine. The one drawback is that you won't be able to overclock, really. Peter has a great question. Peter Silbergerberger. Really? Silberberger? GTX 680 is main card. Would a GTX 560 Ti be good for a dedicated physics card, or would it throttle the system? No throttling, but I don't see the point, because your GTX 680 is already so powerful that by the time it like allocates a little bit of its power for processing physics stuff, then it won't actually detract from the overall performance that much. I actually did a really, oh, I did a really cool test uh, back when Batman Arkham Asylum launched, uh, where I used a passive 8800 GT as a PhysX card, and the temperature on the card while running the game with maximum PhysX on didn't change, which suggests to me that there's not a whole lot of processing going on. Although, newer games like Borderlands 2 might be different. Lizerberg, I did not bash you on the live stream. I just said that I would be immortalized on the internet in part due to you. Lizerberg is the guy who made that video. See, he's in the, uh, he's in the uh, Twitch TV chat. Stoikis asks me, what do I think of Maxi Shine? Maxi Shine is the, uh, the bloke, right? The uh, uh, Maxi Shine. Oh, no, wait. No, I don't. Hold on. What, what's, what's, what's Maxi Shine again? Maxi Shine. Uh, oh no, that's not that's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of True Bradar. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I think a whole lot about Maxi Shine. Wow, he's got a lot of subscribers actually. Here's a cool tool, you guys. I don't know if you've uh, actually here. I'm gonna switch to my other. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my other scene here. There we go. Check this out. This is what I use to track uh, to track. Uh, blade.com slash YouTube slash user slash Linus Tech Tips. So this is what I use to track YouTube junk. Uh, it's actually just this phenomenally cool tool, so you can see the daily change in subscribers, video views, uh, channel views. You can see trends over time, which is really, really cool. This number is totally meaningless, guys. Don't, don't assume that it, it... Social Blade doesn't suck. I use it. I like it. So, whatever. All because of gamer name Drac. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. There black screen for you. Nah, I'm just messing. No black screen. Let's go back to Twitter. Okay. Chaz wants to know, what do you think would be the best time to buy or build a PC? Black Friday is coming up, and I was wondering if that's a good idea. Absolutely, Black Friday is an excellent time to... Um, to, to sorry, uh, someone says they're a 10-year-old moderator. I don't care, as long as you're willing to be more mature than that guy who was posting crap last time around. Um... Yes, Black Friday is an excellent time to build a PC because there's great prices. Michael wants to know, how do I know Slick? Was he a friend before you worked at NCIX? Actually, Slick and I did not know each other before he came to work at NCIX. In fact, if you... Uh, check this out. So, um, Tech Tips Assistant. This is no longer live because I'm no longer looking for an assistant and I'd have people messaging me all the time. But this is the video. This was the video uh, job, uh, job posting that I created in order, to, uh, in order to have, here we go, someone join me on Tech Tips. So I basically said I needed someone who could work flexible hours and who was technical and, uh, and, and that my old, yeah, and that my old, 
whatever it's called thing, my old cameraman wasn't going to be able to help me anymore because he was just too darn busy. And that was, uh, that was how the recruitment process went. And Slick was out of, actually, I got a ton of applicants, many of which who were awesome. Like I had um, 10 people, I think, or so that I, that I interviewed, and I had probably 20 or 30 resumes that were good enough to interview, but I just had to, I had to narrow it down. Had to narrow it down. Yeah. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Will there be any tech tips for unboxings on the NVIDIA GTX 660? Are you freaking kidding me? Do I have to school you again? All right, schooling time. Here we go. We're going to go on the YouTube, and we're going to search for GTX 660. We're going to see what comes up. Aw, Newegg beat me. There's me. Bam. Oh, no, that's 660 Ti. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, got, I got owned there. I got owned. 660 Ti. See, that's the thing about NVIDIA's naming scheme that sort of irks me. There we go. NVIDIA GTX 660 video card introduction. And uh, there's probably more. There's probably an unboxing GTX 660 video review. See, these are all front page results, guys. Um, yeah, so there's at least two front page results from me. Oh, there's the unboxing. Oh, no, that's motherboards.org. Okay, their thumbnail's similar to mine. Good old Elric. But yeah, there's plenty of, plenty of content about GTX 660, so feel free to check it out. And if you, uh, if you don't already know about it, check out Hardware Canucks. They do fantastic video reviews. Fantastic video re or not video reviews, fantastic written reviews that are, that are great and just awesome. Garrett Moore, you really know your tech stuff, so why do you use an iPhone over an Android phone? And I, uh, because I like it. What do you want me to say? It's, it's outstanding. It's a great experience as a, as a user. I, I enjoy it. So, ha. You can think of that what you will or what you no, not will. Okay, we have time for one more question, and we are pretty much done here. So I am going to take the first tweet, the one that's at the top, once I click refresh. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, one more question from, from Twitch. So, Linus, do you actually play video games? If yes, what are you currently playing? I am replaying Super Mario RPG right now. That is a video game, but it is not a particularly new one. Someone wants me to answer Tally S? Um, no. Uh, no. No, no. No, I don't see anything that I like. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. Here we go. The top one. Oh, come on. Hey, Linus, any idea when the next warehouse sale in Richmond will be? I answered this question earlier in the live stream. You need to tune in on time. You wasted the last question for everyone. All right, new one. Alex, do you have a favorite antivirus program? Yes, Malwarebytes was the one that I was able to clear out my, uh, my stupid keylogger with. I also had a problem with my desktop recently that it was able to take care of for me as well. So Malwarebytes, there we go. Thank you for checking out this live stream on Twitch TV, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget that you can tune into live streams at Linus Tech on Twitch TV, or if you follow me on Twitter with the at symbol Linus Tech, then you will get tweets from me about random things, mostly tech-related. I think I do an okay job of that. Uh, mostly tech-related, but um, also other things, including prior notification of when the live streams will be. So good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe to me at every possible place because I actually do different content everywhere. NCIX Tech Tips channel, Linus Tech Tips channel, Twitter, and here on Twitch. Good night, everybody.